Welcome to the channel guys, I'm Evan. This is Origin Painting, and this is by far the largest batch paint I have ever done. We've got 18 intercessors, 15 assault intercessors, 6 hell blasters, 10 terminators, 1 chaplain, and my biggest question at the beginning of this is how long is this going to take me? If you enjoy this stuff, go ahead and go down and hit that like button while you're down there. If you want to see some future stuff, hit the subscribe button. In order to get ready for this, I decided to go ahead and base all my models out. I did this with a mixture of cork and a bunch of sprue bits. Nothing overly fancy, and then I followed that up with some Vallejo earth texture. This stuff is amazing. It turns out really nice, really sells the dirt effect. Just make sure you keep those base rims clean. And here is the growing pile of gray, and a little bit of blue. So what you guys are seeing here is several failed attempts to get back into Warhammer. I've been playing on and off since 3rd edition. Unfortunately, every time I go off, I usually get rid of most of my stuff. All my poor Blood Angels. Um, miss those guys. This is several Dark Imperium box sets that I traded the Space Marine half off for the Death Guard half, as well as two of the new Indominus box. Joining those are some of my old models that I kept laying around, mostly the Terminators. I have a set of the really nice Space Hulk Blood Angel models, and I just couldn't seem to part with them the last time I ditched the game. Big vision going forward here is to try and do all 50 at once. So I'm going to prime the 50, spray the 50 with red, so on and so forth, all the way to that sweet black base rim at the end. My very first step is to get the black undercoat. This is also doubling up as a primer. This is Steino Res Black Primer. It's kind of my go-to. Gives really good adhesion, and one of the bonuses in doing 50 marines at a time, I don't have to wait for these guys to dry. After that, I'm using Bull Titanium White to start doing some Zenithal highlights on these guys. I'm looking for a real bright source around the faces and on those upper shoulder pads. Once I've got that established, I'm going to come in with my Burnt Red, and I'm going to hit all the black areas. From there, I'm going to Bold Pyro Red. This is a really nice bright red. It's real vivid and the coverage from it turns out really nice over top of that zenithal. After that I loaded up a little bit of orange just to build up some further highlights. After all that airbrushing got done I was 3 hours and 21 minutes in and I really needed a break. Time to do a little cleanup and make this mat presentable. When I did come back to it I started doing my brushwork. First step was to do dark warm gray and this is going on all the joints all the cables, everything that's going to turn out being black eventually got this as the initial base coat. This step wasn't very skill intensive, just tedious. Clocking in at 1 hour 59 minutes. Moving on from there I grabbed my copper and started laying down all my gold trim, all the chest eagles, and every little detail I could find that needed it. This copper is a really nice base. Later on I'll come back in with silver and use that for the highlights. And it gives me a what I feel like is a really nice old gold look. And it really is my favorite look right now. Um, especially for these guys. These are blood drinkers. And total damage there. 1 hour, 44 minutes. For the next session, I grabbed my black Templar contrast paint. Thinned it down just a little bit. And started going over all those gray areas. In hindsight, I would probably do this on the first step skip the gray and save myself some time seeing as how this clocked in at three hours. I will admit I'm a little sad that in this entire set of 50 guys there is not a single jump pack. That'll be a video for another day. Came back in with my light umber and I'm gonna hit all the cords, the parchment, and the purity seals. All in all not too bad clocking in at only two hours nine minutes. Next up, I'm laying in the silver highlights on top of that copper. This is going to go anywhere the light would hit, upper surfaces, and then the extreme edges on those pauldrons. Clocked in at 2 hours, 16 minutes. For my plasma weapons, and a lot of the jewels and blood drops on here, I'm going with purple. It's just fun, it's a different color, something I don't normally see. Base coating that took 2 hours, 30 minutes. Next up, Coke Zero. Yeah, it's not for the model, don't worry. This step, 30 seconds. Much better. For all my greens, I came in with bright yellow green as my base. 
And then after that, I came back in with yellow, mixed that in, gave myself some highlights. Not too bad on this step. One hour, 26 minutes. For my weapons, I was doing this quick tabletop level. I just started dry brushing on the edges. This is not a precise edge highlight. And I decided to go with silver to make it really stand out. Even then, still took two hours, 41 minutes. Here's a tool that I've talked about in another video. I'll link that up above. This is a watercolor pen brush, and I used it for my washes. Got me through real fast, one hour, 59 minutes. Going into edge highlights, I grabbed orange. I didn't want to go with white. White's way too poppy. The orange, however, looks really good without stealing the entire show. Two hours, 25 minutes. And that's by no means complete edge highlights. I loaded up some purple in my airbrush, put thinner in there until I was about two to one thinner to paint and just decided to get some overspray all over these weapons. Gives you that nice light bleed effect. After that, I put in a lot of bold titanium white, got it real bright. Nice short step coming in at 38 minutes that gives a lot of visual interest to the model. And from there, we're getting close because we're moving on to bases. For the main color, I'm grabbing dirt splatter. This is an army painter color. One of the few I'm using gives good coverage and helped me clock in at one hour, 42 minutes. For all the rocks and sprue bits, I went back to my dark warm gray and used that. This took one hour, 20 minutes. That was a solid base color and then a little bit of dry brushing just to give it some character. Coming back in to wash the bases. This is gonna be a much better look at that watercolor pen brush. You can see here, I'm adding thinner, adding my wash, shaking it up real good. And then in order to get this stuff out, all you need to do is squeeze a little bit and you'll get your wash. It's controllable, it's fast, especially on large batch painting. One hour, 22 minutes. After that, I decided to put some pigments on. This step helps tie the model into the base and just makes it a little more visually interesting. From there, some normal PVA glue and a little bit of green flock. Now that all that is done, we get to do the base room. The base room is a sacred part. That is how you know your models are complete. I'm not gonna lie, there were points where I might have moved those models onto my lap. It got a little tedious reaching over for them every time, and those base rooms only took 55 minutes for two coats. It's time to get them lined up, try and get some pictures. I knew this was a lot of guys while I was doing it. 50 is a big number, but it didn't quite hit me until I started pulling all of them off and laying them down one by 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 one. You get the point. There they are in all their blood angels, blood drinker glory. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy to have all these guys done. They've been sitting on the shelf for way too long. So the big question at the beginning. How long does it take to get all 50 guys battle ready? Came in at 31 hours, 27 minutes. Now I am positive that I've probably missed one or two hours in that count somewhere. So, well, I don't know, we'll just call it 33 even. Seems like a good nice number. I absolutely love the fact that they're done. It was fun to do them. At the end of the day, I'm 50 models ahead of where I was and I'm definitely headed in the right direction. Plenty more to go, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe bell. I'm sure there will be plenty more Blood Angels coming off this line soon.